everyone, now that the weather is starting to get a little cooler, today I'm going to talk about yet another different type of convertible shoe. These booties are by Mosto, a brand based out of Spain. Their slogan is, it's up to you. As per the usual, this video is not sponsored. I purchased these shoes myself and this is an honest review. However, I did speak with the owners of Mosto USA and they have agreed to create a generous discount code for my followers. So if you happen to love the concept and designs that Mosto has to offer, use the code ILOVELUCY for 20% off. Unboxing these shoes, let me tell you, packaging is not a deal breaker because I order a product for the product and not for the box it comes in. But when the packaging is particularly cute, I do take notice and Mosto's packaging is super cute. The shoe box has a little carrying strap that keeps the box securely closed when it's being carried. And there are not one, but two bags of spare heel extensions just in case you might lose one. All of Mosto's footwear are named after fashionable cities around the world. And specifically, I chose the style called Praga, which is an ankle boot made from power elastic and leather. I deliberated between the Praga and the Amsterdam, but in the end, I chose Praga because it looked more comfortable at the back of the heel, having a small elastic insert by the Achilles tendon so it won't cut into my skin. Mosto has two heel heights. During development of their shoe, they mentioned that the two heel heights were the most adaptable for the sole of the shoe and the comfort of the wearers. So during their research and development, the two heel heights that they chose were four centimeters and eight centimeters, or about one and a half inches in heel height and three inches. The heels are made from a hard molded plastic and the detachable heel extension has a magnetic shank that nestles inside of the bigger attached heel. Mosto has accessory heels in their UP store, where you can purchase heels in many different colors and even Swarovski embellished styles. They sell the caps or covers, which allow you to keep the four centimeter heel, or you can purchase the two centimeter heel extensions if you want just a little boost, or the four centimeter heel extensions for maximum added height. Mosto manufactures their shoes in three different heel shapes or styles. My Praga shoes have the equal style heel, which is a bit of a square stiletto with a very slight convex curve in the back. Then there is the Neo heel, which is a little bit more blocky with a wider base. And when you look at it head on, it's shaped kind of like a semicircle. The third heel is the exception heel, which is kind of a small round stiletto that's very delicate looking. And it's a good reason why it's called an exception because it seems to be uh, particularly rare on the website, despite it being my favorite heel shape. So like I said, the heel on my Praga shoe is called the equal heel. When looking at the different options on Mosto's website, if you like a style but you don't like the shape of the heel or you want it in a different colorway, click onto the listing because they sell almost every style of shoe with block or stiletto heel options and in different fabrics and colorways. So you can click through and see if there's anything that is more to your style. Depending on the colorway you choose, like on these Milano booties, you might either get the Neo heel, the equal, or the exception. But do note that the extensions for those heels don't match up with the same base. So if you buy a shoe with an equal heel base, it can only be worn with an equal extension. So while these shoes are certainly adjustable in their heel height and in the color of the heel, it doesn't have exactly the same versatility of switching uh, totally from a block heel to a stiletto to a kitten heel or completely flat like some other brands of convertible heels do. But it's not a big problem to me because as you know, I highly prefer the stiletto over any other type of heel. So how much did I pay for these shoes? Well, they were on clearance on Mosto's European website. They were marked down to 86 euros, which is about $94 US. But then shipping them from Spain ended up being another 60 euros on top of that. And it was only after that point that I realized that I could have ordered from Mosto's US location and saved myself so much time and money on shipping. But more on that in a little bit. First, I wanna talk about Mosto's family business. So the owner of Mosto is Patricia Ruano, who thought of the idea in 2008 after an event. And it's the same common song and dance about high heels being a literal pain in the feet after long work days or at parties. And while there were many iterations of interchangeable heels, Mosto has a unique take on it by incorporating strong magnets. It took Patricia over three years to design, prototype, and perfect the shoe. And Mosto released their design for the first time at the end of 2011. 
from what I understand of Mosto's interview, which please excuse any inaccuracies because my Spanish is not very strong, but from what I understand, shoes are a family business for the Urano family. So Patricia's brothers worked in the shoe industry, learning from their father, who made shoes for some 45 years, and now they've continued the family business applying modern technology to traditional techniques. In addition to making shoes, they also research, manufacture, and supply different types of toe caps, heel counters, and soles to adapt to the needs of the shoe, the company who finishes the shoes, and the wearer, whether they require hard plastic, elastic, rubber, and they're constantly trying new technological textiles. For instance, they mentioned in the early 2000s they needed to pivot away from using metal in the soles of different shoes after Europe's changing policies regarding wearing shoes in the airport and walking through the metal detector. Previously, the Rado family seemed to focus primarily on upper-end men's shoes, but now with Patricia, the family had the opportunity to use their respective skills and create something completely new for the women's shoe industry. And from that came Mosto. So let's take a closer look at these shoes. The sole is flexible but still supportive, and on the upper, elastic materials are used in strategic places where the foot is known to flex, both in the high heel and the low heel position, so it's comfortable in both positions. The sole itself is lightly cushioned as well. On the bottom of the sole, the toe area does not have much tread, so you might want to scuff this area, but there is a little bit of tread on the heel. I will admit that ordering from the European site was a little bit of an adventure because it took about two months for me to receive my boots for a few different reasons. The first was that apparently anything going in and out of Spain requires a DNI, NIF, or NIE number from what I understand is kind of an ID number that each citizen has. However, since I'm Canadian and not Spanish, I don't have this kind of ID. This isn't Mosto's fault, of course, but I wasn't comfortable putting in something like my passport number or my social security number or anything because that opens one up to identity theft, as you can understand. Once I found a workaround for this number and the shoes were ordered and shipped, the border held the parcel for over a month. And then when it was finally entering Canada, uh, the Canada Post system was in the middle of a rotating strike, which caused even further delay. And it was only after I finally received my shoes about two months later that I realized that Mosto USA exists and I could have bought my shoes from there instead. So if you are in the US or Canada, definitely get your shoes from Mosto USA to avoid all of those exporting complications. Now a note about sizing, as mentioned in previous videos, because I tend to wear a 6.5 in North American shoe sizes, ordering shoes online, especially in European sizes, tends to be a little bit of a gamble. For instance, I had no idea until this year that French 37 is not the same as uh, Italian 37. <laughs> so, so in this case, I ordered a size 37, which I think they were out of stock at the time in size 38, so I just kind of crossed my fingers and hope for the best, especially because of the elastic around the shoe and uh, the, the fact that leather can stretch out and break in after a while. I was kind of hoping for the best. As it turns out, the length is okay, but in the Mosto shoes, I find the width to be a little bit narrow for me. I might have been okay with size 37 if these were sandals, something open-toed, but because they're completely closed-toe, they are a little bit more snug than I would like them to be. Unfortunately, shipping from Canada to Spain or even Canada to the US for an exchange is not really an option for me. Not to mention, I believe this style is now discontinued anyway, but I would have gone with a size 38 if I were to do it all over again. Or just order from the US site because that's easier on all accounts. But as I predicted, where the fabric is elastic, the shoes do hold my feet nicely. They kind of hug my feet. And the only really squeezy part is like the baby toe of my left foot where it's leather. And there is a possibility that this can be broken in and stretched over time. Regarding changing the heels themselves and how secure they are, I would say that among the interchangeable heels, uh, the Mosto heels are probably the most intuitive, the most idiot proof. You cannot screw this up. It just, it pops in and you can just pull it out and <laughs> that's the end of it. I was mildly concerned that because the heels have nothing to really snap together, that maybe the magnetic heels might not be very secure, but I was pleased to be proven wrong. 
The magnets are quite strong and they hold in securely. There is no possibility of putting the heels in the wrong direction or the, the wrong way because of the way the shank is shaped. One thing to note about the magnetic design is that one time I was walking on cobblestones and my stiletto lodged in the soft mortar between two stones and it pulled the heel right out of my shoe. I noticed right away of course and it was rectified in a second. I just picked up the heel and slipped it back in and it was no problem, it didn't happen after that. After speaking with Mazda USA about this, they commented that the easy release is by design. For instance, in a standard shoe, your whole foot could get caught in, say, city grating. At minimum, the heel might get scuffed or scratched and the aesthetic finish of the whole shoe would be ruined. At worst, you might get your heel caught while crossing the street, which could become a safety hazard. Whereas with the Mosto heel, you have the option to discard the heel and use a new one, since they send an extra pair. And you can buy new heel extensions in different colors and styles, as I've mentioned before. Their accessory heels are the least expensive of any brand, starting at less than 10 euros on sale in the European store or $20 in the North American store. So they made the easy and quick release heel specifically in mind that when you are out and about and using your shoes, accidents do happen and you'll be prepared with the extra heels. Still, I would recommend that you practice common sense, and if there are any terrains that you wouldn't normally wear stiletto heels, like through muddy fields or wet concrete, then obviously don't wear your Mosto shoes there either. Now is the magnet a concern in itself? I admit I will typically carry the heel extensions in a different pocket and not in my purse next to my cell phone or my credit cards, just in case there is a tiny chance that the magnets might affect their functionality. Of course, there are wallets with magnets and there are cell phone carry cases that are magnetic, so I could just be overcautious here. Um, but because I have never, say, thrown the heels in my purse, I don't fully know the answer to what happens if you were to do that. Uh, so. At the moment, I've had no real issues. Um, I have discussed this with some of my followers on Instagram and they recommended getting a Faraday cage and I think that's going a little bit overboard. <laughs> but uh, you do you. The European website was not very responsive or very quick about uh, responding to my questions when I was asking about, you know, how do I order without an ID number and sizing and whatnot. Uh, the fortunate thing is on the US website, the customer service live chat, they are very responsive. They have answered every question I had, which is yet another reason why I wish I had purchased from them in the first place. <laughs> One trend is for sure, most brands of convertible heels tend to focus on sandals and open toe designs, probably because they're easier to fit different feet, there's less fabric usage, and it's quote unquote a safe design. So I love when brands like Mosto use their half a century of shoemaking experience, blending some old traditional techniques with new designs to create some brave and trendy shoes and booties. And if I can break in these booties enough so that they're comfy on my baby toe on my left foot, I know I'm going to be wearing these booties all season because I've been waiting forever to find another pair of black leather versatile kitten heel booties that I can just use to run around in all autumn. So the stock on their website is relatively bare, but if you're interested, then I recommend you check out their site, if only to browse their selection. I do kind of hope that they manufacture more shoes and uh, replenish their stock because it's it is an innovative design. This is the only design that doesn't really have a latch or lock system. It's only magnets. So um, it really is very accessible. It is easy. If, even if you have limited mo mobility of your hands, it is extremely easy to use. And of course, in my opinion, their booties are so, so cute. So thank you so much for watching to the end. Give this video a like if you haven't already. Subscribe if you'd like to see some more videos. And check out my playlist on the screen here if you'd like to see some more reviews of convertible heel brands. I will see you all next week for another video. Bye.